Drive past Slab City's piles of abandoned trash, empty lots and old trailers, and you eventually end up at East Jesus. If you follow me this way, I'll show you our Zen garden. It's a special night, the annual celebration of East Jesus' founder. The night begins with gluing trash to planks of wood. Anybody else need a screw gun? Sure. They call it the art slam. It is a valid stylistic choice and I approve. <laughs> Jen Nelson has lived at East Jesus for over a year. She's the curator. And so one of the things that we're looking at here, one of the things that we really engage in is how can we take what would go in a landfill, either make it useful again or make it enhance our lives in another way um, through the creation of art. Art and sustainability are central to the East Jesus philosophy. You see it everywhere. There's trash hanging from trees and walls built out of old bottles. Nothing's off limits for reuse. The wood planks from the art slam will go on this tower. It will become part of the East Jesus sculpture garden. The whole place is the vision of this guy, a Burning Man regular named Charlie Russell. Russell was known for hanging out naked. He died of a heart attack in 2011. When Charlie Russell first came out to the slabs, this was the messiest, most trash-strewn corner. It is the furthest corner. Russell invited artists to make work for the garden. This piece is made out of recycled tires, this one out of chicken wire and plastic bags. Charlie took an abandoned field of trash and turned it into a place for contemporary art. There's no shortage of trash in Slab City. Artist Jessie the Elder is passing through. She took that name when she was 16 because she wanted to be taken more seriously. Everyone litters here, it's like a junkyard. She found this t-shirt among the trash and plans to wear it. I'm gonna wash this in the canal later. She finds Slab City and East Jesus inspiring. It's incredible. The people here are extraordinary and they're really free. They have a lot of space to be creative. Resourcefulness extends beyond art at East Jesus. They live off the grid. There's no running water, electricity, or sewer system. They recycle their own waste and they grow most of their own food. We try to focus on things that are either exotic varieties or very efficient varieties, sometimes both. Um, and things that we're getting the most nutritional value of for the water we're using. Like Slab City, East Jesus residents are squatting on state-owned land. When word got out the state wanted to sell the land, Nelson set up a nonprofit and put in an application to buy it. She's worried a solar or geothermal company will try and get there first. And we're not going to wait until the bulldozers show up. This means too much. It will take months before the state decides whether to sell. And then East Jesus residents will have to raise money to purchase the land. After the sun goes down, the sculpture garden comes to life. We are going to marry a man, going to marry a man. The man will be rich, the man will say bitch. The evening's entertainment includes three costume women from Amsterdam. The band is called Snow Apple. Oh, darling, marry me soon, darling, marry me like coming forward and grabbing a chocolate martini. Uh, Non-alcoholic is over here. Dessert is a chocolate martini, Charlie Russell's signature drink. To the first church, the chocolate martini and Charlie Russell. Cheers. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, if I can have your attention turn behind you, we'll now have the ceremonial lighting of the barbecue. In case you didn't hear that, Nelson said barbecue, as in lighting a car on fire. The switch for the flamethrower is a plastic baby doll. Squeeze the baby! After a few failed attempts, the old car goes yeah! up in flames. Yeah! It burns for a while, mesmerizing the crowd. Then, nearby Nyland's fire truck arrives, a stark reminder of the outside world. The same outside world threatening the future of East Jesus. East Jesus has a larger message of hope and living within the future that we've created for ourselves. It has a larger message about sustainability, about art, about who we are as people. And that's what we can't afford to lose. 
Angela Carone, KPBS News.